eyeing out of them. That's the eyeing out will be very tricky for such a heavyweight like Rob. Absolutely, but Rob has uh, a lot of tools to help him stay out of those combos. He's got your gyroid, he's got your neutral B, uh, he's got nares just to keep people at bay. So uh, yeah, we Bayonetta will see. Bayonetta does have one of the better recover. Both of these characters do have some of the better recoveries in the game. So Rob, to so try to catch Bayonetta off stage, it's going to be rather tricky. Absolutely. So he has two to start in to dad going on the aggressive. Ooh. Well, Bayonetta is starting to get her combos. I mean, it is Bayonetta. What do you really expect? But we are starting off on PS2. Again, a very neutral stage. Uh, yeah. But Ooh, I think we're this getting one combos. Uh -oh, I think this no SEI. That's it. Oh, uh, oh, oh, living. No. Probably oh. did get the forwarder and. But that was able to live. I was just about to say that I thought PS2 might benefit Rob a little bit more than Bayo because it doesn't have a top platform. But uh, but Frog making oh. Bayonetta look incredible on this stage. 141 on the dad immediately. Yeah, I'm not really too knowledgeable on this matchup, but I do know that. But I do not. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, okay. backer is gonna take the first stock off of Bedad. And Bedad really struggling with such a big body. I'm not, really, I'm not really sure where Frog is from, but doesn't matter. That up smash will take that first stock. That I love how he back to the, even stocks. I love how he caught the bats within with up smash. That that was funny, but uh, you know. Rob was at low percent, and now he's at high percent because Bayonetta has combos. But, oh, we're getting more Bayonetta combos up Forward to the top. Air. Four airs. Okay. Yeah. With a character like Rob against Bayonetta, you're going to... You will expect him to get combos pretty hard. But that forward smash... going to take second Saga. Now, this is a little bit more dominant for Frog. Oh, absolutely. Going for the double uppy into forward air. Not quite getting the forward airs, though. Ooh, uh, it had the roll read, but just missed his... messed up on the grab. Okay, good SDI out of there. He's still gonna end up taking a lot of damage. Dog's Bayo combos are clean, though. I am... I'm loving watching this. Yeah, the main thing with Bayonetta combos is that... If you... you can't actually read your SDI. If you... As EI a certain way, and he reads that, he will be able to follow up for more damage. Absolutely. Rob has not, or uh, oh, has it. not been able to do much this game, and the forward smash gonna take the first game. Two stock and frog. Yeah, I do believe this matchup is rather tricky for Rob because of the fact that Bayonetta can just get in so easily. She can actually low profile the beams. Just by crouching. Also use the, just by crouching or even with the side B, I believe. And not only that, Bravo's such combo food and Bayonetta thrives off of getting those combos. So with such a with Rob being a big character, SEI out is gonna be very difficult for Vidad. And we're just gonna get into the next game. Uh, the dad frog. I'm not sure if there was a stage change during the uh, during the during the stuff, but it looks like nope. we are going back to PS2. Uh, does the dad have another strategy? Hmm. I feel that the dad's being a little too aggressive, and this allows frog to get a lot of damage. It definitely right could there. be being aggressive, yeah, but uh, I feel like shield is definitely an option if dad isn't abusing enough against Bayo. Like, right there. Yeah, right there. Three forward yeah, smash actually, off of us. Uh, yeah, right there, he actually started the shield a little bit more. Now, that bad with it is actually going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, the witch time. Not being as effective because Frog had already used it once before it activated. 
Yep. Which time got nerfed in this? Oh, uh, do not land on top of Bayonetta. Do not land on top of Bayonetta. It is not a good idea. She has so many things that go up that just combo or kill, and definitely not at high percents. But yeah. So the dad is back at low percents, which means that he is back in the combo food range. Yeah, I think I think Rob stopped being combo food like way later. Back Ooh. here, that's gonna stop. That's gonna stop Rob from trying to combo. Absolutely, he if went that back he... here. Very strong. We'll take that first lock off of Frog. If that is looking to try to pull a comeback here. And try to Frog. even out this set. The thing about this is that I think Frog is just playing so consistently. Um, it, it is definitely going to be very hard to get uh, another stock or two off of Frog. It, but it definitely is possible. I think Vidad just has to play a bit more defensively, or really really yeah, like go I'll in on back the here. not a very common bayonetta combo that you usually see but it is actually true at certain percentages and can't kill it will actually kill at those higher percentages Ooh, getting the bayo combos uh -oh. upbeat Ooh, manages the SEI out of there and jump out you don't want to be dying super early to those bayonetta combos oh absolutely oh. not very unfortunate trade for the dad. And Ooh. this is looking really rough. Going for the side, going for the uh, full hop side B. Gonna get some damage on the dad. 145 Ooh, on the dad. Down there, sending the dad the opposite way. This is looking like a very frog game. Yeah, this might be the set for frog. If the dad doesn't figure something out quickly, <laughs> that's it. That was a crazy combo. Double side B into back air, and Frog taking the set over Vidad 2 0. Yeah, not gonna lie. This matchup is rather. Yeah, this matchup is rather rough for Rob. I, I was not expecting that from Bayonetta. I uh, I mean, I know that she def she did get buffed, like I said earlier, but. I was not expecting such a uh, commanding last game from uh, from Bayo. Yeah, I can say probably be one of the stronger Bayos in this. And with not a lot of Bayos in the scene, a lot of people don't really know how to fight her that well. But regardless, I do believe we're going to be getting on to our next match very soon. So I'm... Ooh, that's actually going to be really interesting. Midnight being well known for his Palutena, I believe. While Skew, very famous for his banjo. Having Ooh. such a great performance as of late. Ever since he got his new controller. This is going to be interesting.